Hey guys, and welcome back. I'm Simon with more Eldritch Moon spoilers. Wizards of the Coast loves tugging at our nostalgia strings when it comes to returning to the previous planes we loved. Innistrad is of no exception. They've captured the flavor and grim, morbid aesthetic of Innistrad down to the T, while also spicing it up with new types of creepy creatures to keep it interesting. But there will always be a place in our hearts for the individual cards that made the original Innistrad block so strong, many of which we'll never see again in any form. Even in this graveyard of wanted reprints and revisions, we've gotten to see at least how one original card has transformed since we last visited Innistrad. This is Delver of Secrets. It began its life as a humble 1-1 for a single blue, but we came to learn it was actually always a 3-2 flyer for one mana, an insane early drop for decks that fixed the top card of their library. As we returned to Innistrad and SOI, the Delver of Secrets seemed to have upped its studies a bit, becoming a Baron Researcher. Although bigger in size, both in human and insect form, it never caught our attention quite like its younger self did. It's a lot more expensive, and it sends cards to the graveyard rather than just revealing them. Good for some mechanics in the set, but tediously slow. Even its quote-unquote perfected form isn't that perfect. It's just a 5-4 flyer for 4, and a hoop to jump through. Needless to say, it was a far cry from its delving days. But the experiments don't stop there. In Magic's latest set, it looks like we're getting our last look at this iconic string of cards. Let me introduce you to Docent of Perfection. For 3 generic and double blue, you get a 5-4 flyer. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a 1-1 blue human wizard creature token onto the battlefield. Then, if you control 3 or more wizards, transform Cosent of Perfection. It becomes Final Iteration, a 6-5 Flying Eldrazi Insect. Wizards you control get plus 2 plus 1 and have flying. It also keeps its ability to generate 1-1 one, one wizard tokens as you play instant or sorcery spells. Completing the rarity cycle, where Delver was a common and Researcher was uncommon, Docent of Perfection is a rare. It seems the transformation to its perfected form has become permanent, and now this insect wants to share its gift with other wizards. Docent of Perfection itself is actually really nice. 5 mana for a 5-4 flyer isn't awful, but it also has the ability to generate token guys. Obviously this card really fits into a deck which uses a lot of spells, preferably cheap ones to pump out as many wizards as you can. With 4 toughness, Docent of Perfection isn't the toughest cookie around, but it can probably hold firm long enough to get you those 3 wizards needed to flip. His transformed Eldrazi state is where things get really interesting. It bucks the trend of just giving it buff stats and flying. Now, it does so much more. Not only does it still provide 1-1 one, one token wizards, but it buffs all your wizards with plus 2 power and plus 1 toughness, all while also giving them flying. Yeah, you'll get a whole new set of 3-2 flyers every time you cast an instant or sorcery spell. It looks like in its final printing, Delver has evolved to produce its own little insectile aberrations. Out of all the cards in SOI and Eldritch Moon so far, Docent of Perfection is probably the most flavorful I've ever seen, stretching as far back as I can recall. There's so much going on, it ties with all of its iterations. It plays back to Delver of Secrets by making 1-1 one, one human wizards, then as it transforms, it also transforms those tokens into 3-2 flyers, just like Delver's flip side was. And it even hints back to its SOI card by already having the stats and flying of perfected form. It's a very satisfying end to a chain of cards that goes back years now. Expect to see some experimentation done with Docent of Perfection and its many wizards. I can see it in a few control decks that utilize spells that slow the game, giving you the chance to flip it and swing in for an army of Eldrazi insects. I mean, who hasn't dreamt of that at one point in their lives, right? But I'll also bet there's someone out there right now that's thinking of some kind of modern or legacy wizard tribal deck. Will this be the breakthrough of a whole new archetype? I have no clue. I'd like to see it done, honestly, but right now I have no real opinion on this card leading a wizard deck. I want to know what you think about Docent to Perfection and Final Iteration. Do you have any ideas in mind for this mad insect scientist? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, throw it a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all the latest Eldritch Moon news, spoilers, and lore. You can also support this channel by checking out my Patreon page and following me on social media. Find links to those in the description below. As always guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.